Hi, I'm Mrs. Pasquan, the art teacher at Martha Jones Elementary. And today I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Filippo Brunelleschi. Now, Filippo here during the Italian Renaissance was responsible for the discovery of linear perspective. It's a way of drawing things so they look a lot more three-dimensional. One point perspective is what we're gonna be working on today. And we're gonna be using it to make a word look 3D. All right. To get started, you're going to need a pencil with an eraser, a ruler, a lettering sheet is going to come in handy to help you with the block letters. If you don't have a ruler, you can just take a scrap paper and if you just fold it in half a couple times and flatten it out, that actually works as a pretty good straight edge. We're not going to be measuring, so you just need something to help you draw a straight line. The first thing I'm going to add to my paper is a line that goes straight across, sort of near the top. This is called the horizon line. It's the line where the sky meets the ground. In the center of the horizon line, I'm going to add a vanishing point. That is the spot on that line where things are so far away, they're so, so small, they appear to vanish. The word that I'm working on is fish, and there's four letters. I find it easier to cut a piece of scrap paper the size of a letter and use it as a tracer. You could just draw a box for each letter in your word, but this way all your boxes are going to be the same size. So I have a scrap paper that is about one and a half by two inches, and I'm tracing it four times, one for each letter in my word. Now I'm about to switch to Sharpie just so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better but I recommend that you stick with pencil for the next part. Then looking at my lettering sheet, I'm not drawing stick letters, I'm drawing block letters. So I'm gonna use the edge of the block that I just drew as much as I can. So the top and the back of the F are just tracing along that rectangle. And then I'm gonna add the lines to complete my letter. The F is mostly made out of rectangular shapes. The I is pretty easy because I'm basically gonna be tracing the block but then sort of carving a rectangle out of each side. So you can see, if you look at the negative space, there's just a rectangle carved out of the left and out of the right, and the rest is just tracing the block. The S is one of the hardest letters to draw. Usually what I do is I draw a little letter N and a little letter U, one on top of each other. From the N, I connect over to the side. From the U, I connect over the front to the side. Back to the N, connected to the wall, back to the U, connecting to the wall, and then up and over the top. You might want to pause and re rewind that if you have an S in your name, because S is usually one of the harder letters. The H is super easy. It's just a rectangle out of the top, a rectangle out of the bottom, and then I'm going to go and trace the rest of that block. I'm actually going to go back now and trace all the blocks, because for this project, I'm just going to be connecting the blocks to my vanishing point instead of trying to connect every little piece of the letter. So right now I'm going to go and I'm going to line up my ruler to the vanishing point and to the top corner of each block. So I'm going to draw two lines to each letter right now. One is going to go to the right side of that block and one is going to go to that left corner of the H. Watch how I'm holding my hand flat on the page. I've got my pointer finger and my thumb on the ruler holding it flat and trying to keep my fingers out of the way. So I'm going to keep going the top of each of my letters. I'm left-handed, so I tend to work from right to left, but you guys probably, most of you are probably going to start on the left side of your page. Okay, the bottom of each letter is where it gets a little bit tricky. You're not going to draw any lines through the letter. So for the H, that far right corner, it doesn't make any sense. For the left corner, I'm going to start at the letter and stop when something gets in my way. So I just drew that little line to the S, but it really would connect all the way to the vanishing point. The left side of the S, you can tell with the ruler that I actually can draw a line all the way. It is super important that you're using a ruler for this step, or you're going to get part of this wrong. The I, it's straight under the vanishing point, so you're not going to see any extra lines from the letter I. But the bottom of the F, you can see I'm starting at the F, I'm drawing until the I gets in the way, and that is the basic part of making the letters look like they're 3D. 
So this is a good place to pause until you have your letters worked out, and then you can move on to part two. Part two is going to talk a lot more about adding details, so they look like they are going back into space, similar to the way that your words are going back into the space. So get your words finished, and then come on back and try video number two, and you'll see what I mean.